What is a family legacy? How much does it mean? I sat down with my great-grandmother, Thelma Newman, and my grandfather, Herbert Newman, who lived through some of the most notorious eras of the 20th century, to answer just that. Take a look now. Did you go through any hard times, you know, growing up towards the Great Depression? Did you feel segregated against because of the color of your skin? Going to school, yes. What about you, Pops? Did you feel like it was hard to be black growing up? Uh, no, because the community that we lived in uh, was in the short north, and it was an integrated community. So uh, I felt uh, uh, real comfortable. It was only until we got into uh, senior high and moved out of the community that I could see how the rest of uh, how the city was split up. Now, during this time period, this was the early 40s and going into the 50s. So this followed the Great Depression. Did you feel like money was scarce or it was hard to get a job during this time? It was hard. It was hard. After this time, the World War II was just ending. How did the community react to everything that was going on in other states and even with Pearl Harbor? What was growing up post-World War II like? I was small. I really can't um, remember too much about that. I know if you were part of the military, uh, you were really respected because of the men that were coming back from the war to their homes and families, you know. They were kind of like heroes. And everybody took to them we used to have parades downtown, and everybody made sure that the families were taken care of and that the men coming back from the military could get jobs. Not like it is now when they come back from the military, it's hard for them to get jobs. So it was pretty much a close-knit family, and everybody took care of everybody because everybody was in the same financial a position you didn't realize you were poor because you could always depend on your neighbor unlike you can do now. Following all of these events, times have really changed. We're seeing more kids on their phones and we're seeing more crime break out and we're seeing a lot of painful and hurtful situations. Ma'am, ma'am, what would you like to say to, to the next generation following you? What advice do you have for them? Think about your education. You have to know how to deal. So it, it takes a, a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. You have to study and think. Be careful. Who can you thank for how you were always careful? Who got you through these times? Who do you have to thank? for everything that you've overcome in your life? Well, your religion has a lot to do with it. You have to have uh, something spiritual that you can depend on to rely on. Bringing up Granchi, I've heard a lot of stories about Granchi and how her mother went through slavery or she knew a lot about it in her background. Did she ever tell you any stories or talk to you about her life? They didn't like talking about it and their work was very, very slim. They didn't have uh, a good work. They were all homemakers. See it? Yeah.